Morning. That breaking news today, Rochester police responding to a scene where three people have been shot. One of them, a three-year-old child who may not survive. This happened on Glendale Park near Fulton Avenue on Rochester's west side. We're told the suspect fled the scene. We're going to go live now to the scene where Alex Love is standing by. Alex, what's the latest from police? The stretch of Glendale Park behind me between the lake and Fulton Avenue intersection is still blocked off. The scene has died down, however, because earlier about a dozen police cars cl uh, flooded this street after reports of gunshots being fired around 1.30 in the afternoon. When RPD arrived, they found a three-year-old and two other adults shot. That toddler is now fighting for their lives. The two other adults, a man and woman in their 20s, have non-life-threatening injuries, and all three of them are being treated at Strong Memorial Hospital as the investigation continues. The suspect took off from the scene, but police have not yet released any description of him other than saying it's a male who had been who had possibly been stabbed before leaving the scene. Police believe this all started with domestic violence spiraling the situation out of control into a triple shooting. Police say this could have been much worse as there were other children in the house at the time of the shooting, but they're not hurt. As part of our investigation always, right, we check with witnesses, right, so obviously we're going to interview everybody that was in the house at the time. We're going to interview neighbors. We're going to look at cameras that are in the street in this area. Um, I believe there's a camera at this intersection even, maybe. But, you know, that's part of our job is we go through and we pull all of that stuff, we look for all of that, any potential information that could help us uh, identify a suspect. Police would not give any details on the relationship between the suspect and the victims or if any witnesses and other relatives who were in the house are cooperating with the investigation at this time. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. We're, of course, going to be keeping track of this story throughout the evening and we'll post any updates over at rochesterfirst.com.